Oh, interesting. R.I.P. Stadia. Oh, we have most help. Reggie feeds the man. Ob1 plays. That's right. What's up? All Ob1 right. Ob1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing all right before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up thumbs up broski big news and how this ties to a nintendo switch streaming service nvidia has officially launched from out of nowhere their own cloud gaming streaming service it's called geforce um cloud gaming and it's already available pretty dope stuff first there's two options there is a free version and a version where you pay five dollars per month the five dollars per month caps your gaming sessions for up to six hours 1080p 60 frames per second standard the free version caps your gaming sessions at one hour uh, maximum per session but there's no limits to how many times you could go back in and um, for the free version you're in a queue a waiting queue to get into the cloud gaming whereas the five dollar per month the paid um, service you don't have to wait in that queue and it's already trumping Google Stadia. The game selection is better. The price point is better. Um, the convenience. You could um, transfer over your Steam library to the gaming servers. What you're pretty much doing is you're renting out a PC through the cloud for the $5 per month. And you get to game. No matter the specs of your um, current PC. That's the beauty of cloud gaming. Now, you clicked on this video for Nintendo Switch news. Well, we do have some news, but how this specifically ties into a Nintendo Switch cloud gaming service and why I think it's happening in the US. Because it's already happening in Japan. Nintendo already has cloud streaming. You can stream. There's two games in particular, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Resident Evil 7. You could already stream via the cloud nintendo just needs the right partner in the u.s what 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 nintendo's already partnered with nvidia for the processor for the nintendo switch it's already a match made in heaven bro what nvidia has been doing has sort of been a foreshadowing for the switch um the N nvidia shield tv Booyah, the Nintendo Switch, same processing power, the NVIDIA Shield TV is in the Nintendo Switch, the Tegra, um, Tegra X1, bro, NVIDIA and a Nintendo partnership for cloud streaming only makes sense, and this is how Nintendo could kill it, we're already paying for online subscriptions we're already paying for um, i mean not for online subscriptions we're already paying for uh, online services to game online on your nintendo switch you pay twenty dollars a year bro nintendo's global president has just gone on record at their last financial briefing saying we're trying to find new ways to get um to keep and retain a nintendo online membership what if Nintendo includes game streaming for free, meaning no additional costs, into the online services? Xbox is doing that now with their xCloud. They've included xCloud. If you're subscribed to Game Pass Ultimate, you're going to be able to use xCloud for free. If Nintendo does the same thing, they might be on to something. This is why I think Nintendo, because all 
NVIDIA needs is an access point. The Switch could be your internet access point for game streaming. Where the service is free, um, Nintendo just gets a percentage of the game sales. Like um, Cyberpunk, I keep going to Cyberpunk 2077 because um, the studio CD Projekt Red just went, went on record saying that there's no plans for a Nintendo Switch version of the game. But if there's cloud streaming, that alleviate, alleviates the restrictions of the hardware of the, um, the the capabilities of the Nintendo Switch. The Switch right now can't run heavy graphically intense games uh, without major drawbacks and scaling and porting, which can be expensive. Nintendo has to pay another studio to uh, oftentimes port these games. Bruh, Nintendo would be the console that would benefit the most from cloud streaming. PlayStation, not so much. You could play a lot of those games natively. Xbox, not so much. You could just play a lot of those games natively. But the Nintendo Switch, a lot of those games can't run natively on the system. A cloud streaming service. I really think it's not a matter of if. I really think it's a matter of when. When Nintendo's going to announce a game streaming service for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's happening, bro. I'm just saying, bro. We got clouds everywhere. <laughs> Cloud, get it? And so, I think this is pretty cool. And it causes us to uh, uh, sort of mourn <laughs> um, <laughs> Stadia. Bro, Stadia had the shortest console lifespan ever, bro. Um... Stadia, I don't think Stadia is going to last much longer, man. The price point and the biggest thing uh, was the games. Uh, the games weren't just there for Stadia. There are no, what is a big, tell me right now, what's a big Stadia um, exclusive that you need to have Stadia for? I'm waiting. None. <laughs> and so the biggest thing with Stadia was no exclusives. You got to have exclusives, in my opinion, um, to warrant you to just, oh, I need to do this. And I get it. The convenience, um, the convenience of, of um, being able to pick up and play a game anywhere. But when you're starting to have other um, cons console manufacturers having the same services but at a cheaper price point, X Cloud, um, PlayStation um, Now, um, um, this now NVIDIA G GeForce. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for dudes to take a second look at Google Stadium. All right, there are um, a few other news items, and then I'm heading out. Um, Saints Row 4 for the Nintendo Switch has been listed. I usually have the graphics to match what I'm talking about, but I don't have it for this video. Just trying to get it up real quick. Um, Saints, Row 4, Saints Row 4 has been confirmed for the Nintendo Switch, which is pretty dope. And Animal Crossing New Horizons. We have the file size for Animal Crossing New Horizons, 6.2 gigabytes. And it will feature Amiibo support. So that's lit, lit, lit. Expect some more Animal Crossing Amiibo. <laughs> All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. Two, through Twitch. 
Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.